Brahms, the boy too. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the boy too. Bit of a dumbass title that if you ask me. Just doesn't sound right saying it. What is up everyone? Welcome to another Movie Worm Review. This is going to be for the film, The Boy 2, directed by William Brent Bell, starring Katie Holmes and Owen Ewerman. Now this is the sequel to 2016's The Boy. This tells the story of a young family who wants a break from the city and they go and stay in the countryside of the guest house next to the infamous Grizzly Manor unknowingly to them. And of course their young son Jude finds the doll Brahms buried in the mud while playing out in the forest. Now let me just start by saying the biggest positive about this film is Katie Holmes. She is head and shoulders above every other cast member here. You can tell she is the most professional and she keeps the movie going, to be honest, by herself at times because The Boy 2 has more negatives than positives, unfortunately. Now let me just say I do find enjoyment in simple horror movies. I actually liked the first movie, The Boy. Okay, it had its flaws and the ending wasn't very good, but I found enjoyment in it. A lot of people like to shit on it and that's fair enough. However, that was more of a mystery horror movie. We didn't really quite know what was going on and that doesn't help this sequel whatsoever. Now, we already know the mystery behind Brahms from the first film, if you've seen it, but this film does not help itself by trying to be more mysterious and what the doll's all about because we already know. The only tweak, really, is that it's a family in this film instead of a babysitter. And most of the film just consists of things happening off camera, like a large noise or pieces of furniture getting turned over. And Jude's parents will come in, blame him for it, and then the camera will zoom in on Brahms just sitting there and add a creepy sound, trying to tell us that it was Brahms all along. Yes, we know. We have seen the first movie. I sometimes feel that's why sequels are never as good. Most of them just stick to the source material instead of going in different directions. They just try and do the same thing, either bigger or better, and it never quite pulls off, and that is what this film falls victim to. And this is Jump Scare City. Every 10 minutes there's a jump scare in this movie. It's what it relies on. The only problem is I seen them coming a mile off. Not once did I jump out my seat. And I've seen this done a hundred times before in horror movies. It's just very lazily made. And very predictable. Now horror movies can be very creative when they want to be and I wish to do it more often with this being my favourite genre. Let's look at Heredity. It doesn't rely on jump scares. It plays with your mind, it adds creepy vibes and it does something totally different. Lo and behold we have one of the best horror movies of the past decade. So why can't more horror movies just do this? I, I really wish they would. Now by calling this film Brahms and the subtitle The Boy 2 I don't know if they're trying to start a franchise with this thing, but if you are, please make the doll a little bit more interesting. He hasn't got the attributes to be Chucky's third uncle. I know it's a different type of doll, but at least do something with it. And there's also some bad CGI towards the end of the film, something you come to expect in generic horror films. I certainly expected it. And talking of the end... Ugh. Look, if you like the first film, though, there might be something here for you. I didn't mind the experience overall. It wasn't a bad... 80 minutes to kill, yes, that's all it's on. Well, 85 minutes. But if you hated the first film, you are going to absolutely despise this one. So, know what you are before going into this film. Now, let's just call this film what it is. It's a cash grab. The first film cost 10 million to make and grows 65 million worldwide. This one also cost 10 million, and I do imagine they will at least make something off it. Every single seat in my cinema was taken. And it was quite a late showing. So what does that tell you? Horror sells at the end of the day, doesn't it? I'm just going to go ahead and rate this film. I'm going to give The Boy 2 a 5 out of 10. Quite forgettable, really. I can't give it any more than that. Now, at the end of these reviews, I always like to leave a little fun fact. Now, the fun fact for this film was the title was originally going to be In a Dark Place. Yeah. I think I prefer Brahms, The Boy 2. And I didn't even like that title, so... <laughs> dark please <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> so thank you to everyone who took the time to watch this review please subscribe if you want more because i've got a lot more reviews coming lots more different videos planned for the channel and if you want to comment underneath i will reply to every single one of you i promise okay guys thanks for watching i'll see you later